Hi there, I'm dropping in today to share a super simple sequence based on developmental movements and reflexes, specifically the symmetrical tonic neck reflex. This is great for your entire spine. It's great for back health. It's great for core engagement. I like to use this a lot for people as a warm up before going into all fours type of core work, planks, things like that. So starting really simply, we start in all fours. Let's curl the toes under. Try to spread those toes. Get a little stretch to your foot while we're at it. And you're going to rock back and forth nice and gentle. This often surprises people at how it feels so good to do this motion. Our nervous systems love this. Then we're going to pause over the hands, bend the elbows, lowering the forearms to the ground, forehead on the mat. Now, I know this feels silly, but it's the start of some sequencing for symmetrical tonic neck reflex. And feel that pelvic floor opening in this position. Again, another area that surprises people because this usually feels really good. Press back, lifting the chest, arms are long, spine is long, really lifting that breastbone. Come forward again, hands underneath shoulders, you're in the all fours position. Again, we're going to lower down, forehead down, forearms down, elbows down, tailbone up. Take a deep breath in. You'll notice that children and sometimes even adults just put themselves in this position because it feels good. They don't know why, but it feels good and it's so good for your nervous system. Pressing back, chest is lifted, arms are active and ready and then coming into all fours. Let's do this one more time. Lowering down, forehead down, elbows down, tailbone up. Let yourself breathe deeply here. And press back, chest is lifted. And then coming forward over the arms. And then you're ready to move into a sequence of core work on all fours, or you could just do that as a standalone. Not only is it great for spinal health, and trunk stability, it's really great to improve mental concentration and focus. Give it a try and let me know how it unfolds for you. I can't wait to hear.